watchOS 10.4 is here on my device and the update size comes in at 256 megabytes it's because i have been testing this update over the betas for almost two months now if you are going to be updating to it for the first time we'll expect this update size to be almost 600 megabytes all the way to about 950 right now i'm just going to finish the update and then we'll see some of the new features and changes as you can see there's quite a bit that mentioned here but the majority is in the code and isn't mentioned and i'll be covering it right now after the update just like that we are now up to date and now if we go into our settings go to general and go to software update right here you can see that our device is now up to date and in case you're curious about the build number 21t216 that's the build number at hand now the new features and changes that are here are actually quite a lot so the first one that you're going to see after you update your device is going to be a new splash screen that's going to be welcoming you to your new watch after you update and in for some select users there seems to be a new splash screen that will have a new pop-up message that you have to acknowledge when it comes to watch os another change that's here has to do with watch face and this one is one of my favorite snoopy watch face so when when you keep playing around with some of the watch faces since spring is coming up you'll be able to see different animation while snoopy's playing with leaves some that have been updated with more vivid colors and they'll be popping up more frequently since this is something that's fast approaching so that's another thing to keep an eye on one of the first things to mention when it comes to this update is that a lot of people are worried about the blood oxygen feature whether it's gonna remain or be removed one thing I have to mention is that while well, trying to open the application after updating you can see at times I have to click twice I don't know why it's glitching like that but at least as of this update you can see it's here and I can take my blood oxygen measurement without an issue if we give it a few seconds you'll be able to see the reading so with the you know copyright issues and infringements that have been going on with apple at least when you update you can expect to still have your blood oxygen features and you can learn more and if you're worried about other heart related features such as the heart rate right here this is working normal and it's good and also if you're worried about ecg well this is also working as well and they have not been removed it's still here and it's present also with this update we get about seven new different emojis that you can use simultaneously between your iPhone and your Apple watch and you can see some of those new emojis right here this is the old existing chain emoji and you can see the new broken chain emoji that has been added this is the old like pinkish mushroom but now we have a new brown mushroom this is the old lime emoji and now we have a new slashed emoji we have a new existing wall updated phoenix bird right that you can see right there and then if you go down a little bit you can see we have the shaking of heads both horizontally and vertically and these are all the unicode updated standard emojis that all devices get and once you update you'll be able to see and use this and that's something that's pretty cool also with this update i'll be happy to let you know that they add support for adoption for the apple vision pro device and they did this by if going into your settings and if you go to where it says gestures and you have the new apple watch series 9 or the apple watch ultra 2 well on your device you'll be able to see a section that says ignore double tap and it will say that when this is on the double tap gesture will temporarily will be temporarily ignored while you are using the apple vision pro device and the reason they did that is because when you are using apple vision pro you basically are doing this and if you have this feature turned on it will ignore that so that it doesn't clash with your apple vision pro gestures as you try to navigate the device also when it comes to this update and siri i'll be happy to let you know that we've been seeing a few updates which are pretty good and here when you go into your settings and you go to siri and search and if you go to where it says messaging with siri you can see here you have the ability to add alternative languages that siri will be 
able to read and those don't have to be set languages so siri will read messages using the language in this list this will not change the primary language that you have set for your siri which will be well for me is english you can see it right there thanks to the latest ios 17.4 software update this now allows you to be able to add alternative applications for the default wallet app and this is not supported in all regions it's for a few selected regions an area where this update needs an improvement has to do with the few health changes to siri and this one for example if you open up your settings and you go to the health section and you go to where it says data access and devices and you select where it says siri this is supported in most countries and regions but it's only supported when you you have Siri that has a language set to English United States or Ma Mandarin main China and Apple had promised us that we would see changes or updates to this but as of now it's only supporting those two languages and maybe with the new uh, watch OS 10.5 this is something that we might be able to see if you're in Germany I have good news for you because now instead of having to say the whole hey and then Siri phrase you can now go into your watch settings and then choose whatever you want whether you want to just say hey the old phrase and then Siri or if you want you can just say Siri and it will automatically pop up and start to listen if you message back and forth between your devices whether it's on the iPhone or on the Apple watch and you are having an issue with your stickers when the devices were paired I'll be happy to let you know that that is now something of the past and the issue has been resolved another update that has also been added here has to do with watch faces for some reason it just glitched switch from uh, the snoopy watch face to this but you can see the color of the watch face that i have and apple is slowly tweaking the different colors that we have for watch faces as we go into spring and this can be seen by going into your watch faces and then if you try and customize different colors you can see here they've really added a lot of colors to go with spring and here you also be able to see spring 2023 and now we have spring 2024 that is the new addition that has been added not all watch faces for example are going to see this but those that have the ability to be able to allow you to customize your watch faces in a large way you'll be able to see this and you can port them over to your device when you use siri to ask what song is playing it automatically hey, let me listen populates shazam as you can see like this and you can see we have a new updated animation that looks a little bit cleaner and it's more pulsive and the repos seems to be more frequent and yeah you can see right right here it just looks a little bit clean at this point in time we've managed to reach at this section of the video without even covering the little bit of uh, new features or changes that apple has mentioned with regards to watch os 10.4 so you can see how limited of information that we usually get from apple when it comes to the changes that are actually included in the os so some of the things that apple mentions here for example on the release notes that you see there if you get a notification right there and you tap to show the full notification settings now will allow you to double tap to expand the notification so if you do this and then you double tap it you can see this expands and now shows the full notification and then if you are using apple pay for example on your device and you uh, wanting to confirm using assistive touch it will now require you to enter a passcode and now the ability for you to be able to use the side button as a confirmation will not work as you are now reverting to assistive touch but if you're just using the normal way that doesn't change also if you're using your device and you notice that it was basically you know doing different touches by itself this has been resolved and the issue according to apple is normal it was affecting different apple watch devices but it's good to know that this has been resolved and it's now a thing of the past connectivity issues also seems to be abolished with this update and the last thing that this update fixes has to do with contact synchronization that was not working properly when it was on ios 17.4 and watch os 10.4 but as of now of, of my latest testing this is working good and this is basically 
all the new features and changes that are here when it comes to watchOS 10.4. Some of the new features and changes will require you to update your device to iOS 17.4 and then you'll be able to get the full experience if you rely on your iPhone and you pair them most of the times like the most of the Siri changes and the voice prompts as well as some of the message changes. So the only thing that's left for me to say since we've updated and we've seen the new features and changes, happy update when it comes to watchOS 10.4.